Hi, I'm Eric Voss, and Venom is the next big movie on the nerd dar. And there was one interesting detail from the recent trailer that still not a lot of people were talking about. Why is there a Life Foundation space shuttle visible in the background of some of this footage? Now we know that the Venom symbiotes come from outer space, thus the crashed ships that we've seen in all the trailers, but why might these villainous characters want to go back to space? Are we looking at Venom, Venom, in, in, space, space, space? <laughs> let's break down the possible theories, and uh, yeah, spoiler warning in case any of these are too right. First, let's look closely at the two shots I'm referring to. The first shows Venom landing on an industrial catwalk with the lit up space shuttle launch pad behind him. We can assume this is part of a fight with Riot, another symbiote attached to Riz Ahmed's villain character, Carlton Drake, because there's also a shot of the two inky pukes slapping each other right at the base of the shuttle, on which you can see the words Life Foundation printed. Now last July at Comic-Con we learned that Drake and the Life Foundation are interested in space exploration. He's trying to answer the question of what does the future for humanity look like? Because planet Earth is almost done, as you saw in the footage, it's like we're on the brink of ecological and environmental collapse. So he thinks probably we've got a future in outer space. So it's in exploring that that he comes across the symbiotes. So this is an updated version of Carlton Drake and the Life Foundation from the Marvel comics. There, the Life Foundation is more of a survivalist cult that planned for what would come after what they saw as the inevitable nuclear holocaust between the US and the Soviet Union. Their plan was to construct nuke-proof communities where the elite of society could pay $5 million for entry. Which, by the way, $5 million? If that were applied to now, the next generation society would be bred from all the wrong YouTubers. In this movie, the global threat is environmental. And Ahmed's description leads us to our first space theme. Theory. The Life Foundation is evacuating Earth. Perhaps the space shuttle that we see in the Venom footage is carrying a bunch of Life Foundation bigwigs, Sultan's kids, and merch pushing streamers, all to escape a dying Earth to live on a new space colony. We're essentially talking about the plan for the movie Interstellar, which, you know, kind of glossed over the fact that billions of Earthlings died in dust storms while a select few survived in a big space tube with McConaughey museums. Uh, not all right, all right, all right. This theory would be interesting, but, you know, it doesn't account for Drake's focus on human experiments. What about the allegations that you recruit the most vulnerable for tests that end up killing people? And in another trailer, Drake opened up this way. Human beings are disposable, but man and symbiote combined. This is a new species. And that leads us to space theory too. The Life Foundation is sending super soldiers to invade other planets. Maybe this discovery of the alien symbiote showed that when these things bond with humans, they enhance the human's physical strength and durability to make it easier for them to survive in space and on hostile planets. We know from the footage that the Venom symbiote can repair broken limbs and give its host super strength. Who knows, maybe it also doesn't need to breathe oxygen. Venom maybe could just be used as an organic space exoskeleton that tries to take over your mind. Still worth it. We've seen this kind of idea in sci-fi too, in the backstories of things like Blade Runner and Altered Carbon. You know, where artificial humans are developed with extreme durability and strength to fight as super soldiers across the galaxy. And I guess to, you know, work as super farmers and super construction workers to build better worlds on the other side of the galaxy. But the way Venom positions himself away from the space shuttle in this footage, fighting Riot as if he's trying to keep him off of that shuttle, brings me to Space Theory 3. The Life Foundation has lost control of the symbiotes, which are trying to take over Earth and beyond. So in addition to the Venom Lethal Protector comic storyline, this movie script is also apparently pulling inspiration from the Planet of the Symbiote series. In that arc, Venom explains the symbiote homeworld of Clintar in the Andromeda Galaxy, where the symbiotes are part of a race intent on taking over host bodies of other races so that they can feel emotion. But the Venom symbiote wanted to simply bond with the hosts rather than dominate them, so they considered him a freak. A freak who just wants to love. So Venom and Spider-Man end up teaming up to stop this invasion force of other symbiotes that build a teleporter to Earth so that they can take it over. I'm not sure if the movie will go that far, and it sounds like Spider-Man Peter Parker will not be in this movie. But a recent TV spot showed Carlton Drake in what appears to be some mission control-y looking command center with satellite navigation on some of the screens. That looks a lot like the same location that we've seen in other trailers, with rows of computer terminals, you know, the ones that Riot swipes away like a sore loser at Catan. Perhaps Riot overtakes Drake as an evil even worse villain, aiming to hijack the Life Foundation spaceships to return to their Clintar home world and maybe spread their symbiote virus to neighboring planets. 
And it would make sense for why Venom Eddie Brock, as a relatively good guy trying to stop worse symbiotes from spreading, would want to stop Riot from getting on this space shuttle. Comment down below with your thoughts on which of these theories sound the most plausible and interesting to you, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at EAVoss for other projects I'm working on. Like this video, share it around, and subscribe to New Rockstars for everything Venom related, including our best guesses at whatever Venom is trying to say in these clips. Rolling down the street like a bird in the wind. Sounds right to me.